All righty, welcome back, YouTube Nation and Argo lovers. This is a our uh, 2020 Argo Frontier six by six. We are uh, fixing to do a uh, 40 hour review on it. Show y'all some of the tips and tricks that we've learned along the way. So y'all hold on to your hat. We're fixing to ride down the hill and we'll take this buggy apart and maybe y'all learn something. No. I think you're a little more informed when you go to buy one. Or if I say something wrong and you got one, you know better. Uh, leave it in the comment there. This video is all about learning and sharing what we know. So check it out. Hold on to your hat. Here we go. Down the hill. Through the pond. To Grandpa's house we go. takes about 18 inches of water for this thing to flow. There you see it across that little pond. That's a pretty steep hill, probably about a 30 degree angle. And it went down and up and through that pond like it ain't nothing. Machine is a beast. You can see it has a, a digital speed gauge. Here's a, a little readout of the RPMs, and there's an RPM digital readout. It's got an hour meter. You can see this one has 43 hours on it. And it does have a, a couple of trips. But I don't know if it's got trip A and trip B. It has a voltage thing there kicking out 14.5 volts. And it does actually have a calendar on it if you want to set that. You can see we're here idling at about 1600 RPMs, which is really too high there. But I may have mine turned up a little bit. It does have a 12 uh, volt outlet if you want to plug in a spotlight or a phone charger. The little lever here is the choke knob. Probably shouldn't choke it till you kill it. Well, we'll cruise on down the hill there and uh, take some of these components off and let y'all get a good look at this baby. A little handle on the right is the parking brake. The little knob right here is for the bill stuff.
it does have the uh, APS Argo progressive steering. On the left side of the handlebars is the brake, the light switch, off, on, off, low, and high, the green start button, and the engine fuel and run switch. The, uh, on the steering there, it's supposed to be like four times the amount of pressure there that it takes. And with the Argo progressive steering, it's supposed to make a swooping large turn. And there you can see I've, I did a real tight turn, one wheel locks, and the other just runs around. So the, the machine will completely turn around within what two times the width of the machine. Oh, and I forgot down in the middle is the gear selector. You got neutral, reverse, high and low speed on the machine there. It does come with a cup holder on the right and a cup holder on the left. They are a little small, though. And that's pretty much what it looks like from the operator's seat. It does have a little one, two, three, four more knockouts where you can knock out and put other switches there if you want to put more lights on it or whatever there. It's already set to go there. Just knock it out there and put your toggle switch in there. The machine does have a uh, some under the seat storage. Raise the back of the seat up. You can see that it's probably like four inches shallow on that side, and, and over here it's it's plenty deeper. You can set your six pack in there or whatever you need. The design of the seat. Is for like two people there it, you can see it kind of makes a contoured shape there for this person and a contoured shape for that person and uh, we get a lot of questions there about uh, how do you put it in four-wheel drive but this is a uh, all the time six wheel drive machine so to uh, you know there's no putting it into six wheel drive or nothing it's all the time six wheel drive the uh it does not have a fuel gauge up on the dash but it does have a plastic fuel tank under the seat and it holds like seven point something other u.s gallons of fuel you can jerk up this uh, plastic thing here in the back. And you can see two of the chains. It does have a, this thing is loaded with grease fittings. It is a really a high maintenance where you oil the chains and get your grease gun out. Kind of machine there. It does come standard with a two inch hitch receiver in case you want to pull a wagon. And on the back, these are not lights. They are just reflectors. It does come with a uh, two round little headlights, one on each side there. They uh, told me those headlights wasn't much, but they are enough to get the job done. It does come with a uh, full skid plate. You can see the machine and then it has some kind of polypropylene skid plate right there on it. The machine itself does not have any shocks or any type of suspension. The uh, amount of air in your tires is your suspension. 
the machine runs at about a seven pounds of air pressure maximum which will give you a uh, quite bumpy little ride but all in all i think that is part of the fun there that it's so bumpy like i say this is the argo six by six we're gonna pop the hood you can raise the hood up there like that and it'll set up there or if you slide it toward the driver's side you can take the hood off all together no tools required this does have the uh, vanguard 18 horsepower carbureted uh, air cooled four stroke motor there you can see the machine is belt driven there is a belt and it is also chain driven i don't know if you can see that but there's three chains on that side and there's a three chains over here on this side so you have one belt and six chains this particular model did come standard equipment with a uh, bilge pump you flip the switch up on the dash and then kick the water out the little hole there on the driver's side it says warm and hot there on that side where your exhaust is in the winter time this side of the machine does make a pretty good hand warmer we'll uh you can access the uh more of the chains and stuff by raising the deck plate up we've uh got the four bolts out of it and in a minute we'll drag it up there there it does take a little bit of doing but once you take the four bolts out if you raise it up from the back side of the thing here because the front of it does have that little lip so raise it up and get it out of your way making it easy to believe accessible to all the chains like i say it does have a whole lot of grease fittings on it and a whole lot of chains to oil it is really a high maintenance machine but the guy that sold it to me said don't worry about that don't ever do no maintenance tear it up bring it back we love to fix it that's how we make money so uh, <laughs> at least he was honest about it the machine has definitely been a beast uh, it is amphibious you know land it and then just roll across there the water and then it'll float like a fishing boat uh, i've seen these on the youtube but uh other than driving one for well like 40 seconds or something other was my only experience with one before i bought it I'm uh, definitely happy with the purchase. I like the machine that will do about three miles an hour in the water. You can buy an optional uh, motor mount there if you want to put a motor on it and go a little faster. It does have a uh, eight inch steel off set rims and a uh, 24 by 10 by eight argo tires on the machine it does have uh, self-adjusting hydraulic brakes with vented disc and like i showed you it does have that uh, digital gauge cluster it comes with a uh, two-year uh, engine warranty and then you can extend the whole machine there through argo there to get two warranties on the whole machine uh, let me see. It's supposed to seat four on land and two in the water. Like I said, this is the 18 horsepower model with the uh, V twin cylinder carburetor. It is fan cooled. The alternator output is uh, 20 amps. The brakes are hydraulic. It is a belt and 
I showed y'all it has six chains on it too. This model is uh, does have a, a standard skid plate on it. You can buy an optional uh, brush guard, an optional winch, an optional front rack. The uh, bilge pump is standard on this machine. The uh, land capacity to this machine is 595 pounds and it's supposed to hold 395 pounds in the water and it's supposed to have a towing capacity of 1200 pounds. Like I said, it's supposed to seat four. The fuel capacity is 7.1 gallons and it's supposed to have a top speed of 22 miles an hour on land three miles in the water. The weight of this machine is 945 pounds. It is 96 inches long and 58 inches wide. The full height of this machine is 51 inches. You can buy an optional step to bolt onto the, either side of the machine there to assist you with getting in and out of the machines. And of course you can put tracks on these. It has about uh, 10 inches of ground clearance. And all in all, the uh, start to finish, the machine has been a beast. It has uh, outperformed or exceeded my expectation in about everything I've wanted to go over or through. Uh, And the machine, uh, with this, you, you you try a lot of different things that you wouldn't try on like your Ranger or your General. If a two foot log is in front of you, you know, it ain't no way you try to go over there with your Ranger or your General, you'd be stuck. But this thing, you just throw the gas to it, roll over it, and keep on cruising. So it definitely is a game changing machine. And uh, it's an ultimate fishing buggy if you live near a creek or a, a waterways. No need to go home and get your boat. Just point it toward the water and take off. And that's it for this 40-hour uh, review. I hope this video helps somebody. Maybe answer some of y'all's questions there. Uh, where I live, there, there's not very many. This is probably the only machine in my little town there because I've never seen anybody with one. But uh, maybe to give y'all some insights and help you make a decision there. If uh, I think the next step up from this 18 horsepower is the 23 horsepower. The only thing I would do different is uh, I think I'd go with the 23 horsepower. It is the electronic fuel injected, I believe. And though four more horsepower may not sound like a lot, I mean, if you're at a thousand horsepower and you add four more horsepower, that's no big deal. But if you are at 18 horsepower and you added, you know, four or five more horsepower, if you think about it, that's a 20%. 25% increase in horsepower, so that's something to consider too. All in all, we definitely love the machine. Like I say, it is just a simple Briggs and Stratton motor, so if you have any engine problems, most of your small engine repair shops could probably work on it. Y'all, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see y'all, if we don't run across you on the land, maybe we'll bump into you on the water. What do you think? But anyway, that's enough for today. That's our 40-hour review. It's time to go get our fishing poles, some worms, and a few sinkers. And go see what we can drag out of the water today. Thanks for watching. God bless. Y'all have a great day.